what's going on guys I'm back with another video and today I'm just going to be showing you how to create custom textures for the MQPM texture tool it's actually pretty simple uh, you're only going to need two things you're going to need the F text tool and an image editor that can export in the direct draw surface format DDS uh, I'm actually going to be using two different image editors for this because uh, I like to edit stuff in paint.net but I find that when you export to uh, DDS it's very lossy so I like to use GIMP for exporting uh, just because it gives better quality so anyway uh, once you've done that you're just going to want to open up an image or something in your image editor so I'm going to be using Mushroom from Super Mario and we need to uh, resize it to a specific size. It has to be to a multiple of two, so it can be 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, up to 512. You can go higher than 512, you can go 1024 or 2048, whatever, but for just uh, the camo or whatever you're making you only need to go up to 512 so that's what I'm going to be doing so I'm going to resize my image to 512 and it's going to be 512 by 509 I'm going to leave it like that that's fine I'm going to select my secondary color drop it down to zero opacity and then reselect my primary color and I'm going to go to image canvas size set it to center and change the height to 512 as well alright so now we have a 512 by 512 image I'm going to add another layer and go down here and then I'm just going to play, pick a, this blue color and drop that there and then I'm going to select the first layer and merge it down and there we go now we have a single layer with our mushroom on it. So next I'm going to start up GIMP and I'm just going to select everything and copy it and then go into GIMP, create a new file make it 512 by 512 okay and I'm going to paste it in here. So now that's all done I'm going to go to file export as and I'm going to put it on my desktop change this to DDS and we're going to name it mushroom.dds and hit export for compression you want DXT5 and under MIP maps you want generate MIP maps everything else should be fine as is so I'm going to hit OK and we're done we can close this and we can also close this. So here's our DDS. Now we need to go to the FTEX tool. So I'm just going to open the location of mine. All right, here it is. And I'm going to cut my image and paste it in here and drag it onto FTEX tool. There we go. And now we need to rename these all to a specific name. I've written a little batch script here that does it pretty simple rename everything dot f text to this dot f text dot one and so on so on I'll include a link to download that alright so I'm just going to run my batch script and there we go it renames all of the f text and f text s files to the correct name now we need to open up texture tool you're gonna to want to go into assets image and in image you're gonna to want to take your original picture so I actually I should also export this as a PNG so I'm going to go file save as PNG and there we go we have a PNG image so I'm going to take that copy it and paste it in here so mushroom.png is now in the image folder I'm going to go back to assets, pftxs, create a new folder, and you have to name it whatever the PNG image's name is. So, mushroom in my case. 
and then you're going to want to copy all the ftex and ftex-s files into this folder. So there we go, that's all we have to do. Now when I run the texture tool here, it will show up as an option down here, and there we go, and we can now apply it to an outfit. So I'll apply it to an outfit, and we'll check it out in game. Alright, so now I'm in game, and let's just go change our outfit to the battle dress. And there you go. You can see that uh, now our custom texture has been applied to the Megalodon outfit. And Quiet now has mushrooms on her. Anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, I will see you guys in another video.